Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. And you're watching In Depth on Now You Know. All right, so we all know about the awful hurricane that came and hit Puerto Rico. It was a category five when it hit uh, Hurricane Irma and it wiped out the entire uh, power infrastructure on the island. Yes. Um, we've now learned that it's probably going to cost around $5 billion to repair that infrastructure and get power up to the island. Right now, about 80% of Puerto Rico is still without power, and right. we're weeks after the hurricane. Right. Luckily, there is some good news. Tesla basically just snapped into action, diverting power packs, power walls, straight to Puerto Rico. So That's basically, right. like, some people in the United States, probably us included, were slated to get uh, power walls and basically they just diverted them straight to Puerto Rico. I'm glad they did. And I'm glad that they did. That's an amazing thing. Companies should be doing you know, more often. Now get this. So we reported a few weeks ago about these power packs that were at the San Juan airport. Mm -hmm. We've now found out that they are online at a hospital in San Juan. And they're so being solar powered. At Hospital Del Nino, which is a children's hospital in San Juan, you can see here that there are four power packs there's a commercial inverter, and then there seems to be about, we counted around 800 panels altogether. So we think that's, if we do the math with 300 watts per panel, that should be about a 250 kilowatt system um, going into four power packs. So that is powering this hospital, which up until that point didn't have power. Yeah, the four power packs should give about 800 kilowatt hours of storage. That's so a lot. That's a lot. So I, I think that this is awesome. It's so nice to have a company that just snaps right into action, and this was 100% donated yes, by Tesla. this is a humanitarian gesture on behalf of Tesla. So they didn't like negotiate prices and blah, blah, blah. They just said, hey, we gotta do this. We're, we're gonna even, our paying customers are gonna be put on hold. We're gonna get this stuff down there to, to Puerto Rico and get people power. Now, I wanna put this out to our viewers, and I wanna mm -hmm. put this out to Tesla. Everyone wants to help people in Puerto Rico. There's many great organizations doing a lot of great work to bring people the food and the, the shelter that they need, but right. they also need power. And this is something that most of those organizations can't do. Right, they can't Tesla provide that. Tesla can do it, as mm -hmm. they've been showing. And so, not only will they just be able to fix the grid, they're going to be able to provide basically power that's going to be hurricane proof, because yes. there's gonna be more hurricanes, right. people. There's not, it's, that was not the hurricane to end all hurricanes. No. There are more hurricanes on the horizon for sure. Right, like, and it's been proven that if you build your solar facility correctly, that it can withstand hurricanes. Yes, and so we had an idea. Basically, we want to have people like you who want to support Puerto Rico and want to support Tesla's work in Puerto Rico. Um, we want to basically be able to Put, connect you. Oh, yeah, connect us with Tesla. So we're gonna be reaching out to some of our contacts at Tesla. We're gonna see how you know, we can make this work, but if you are interested in helping to support Tesla um, humanitarian aid for Puerto Rico, please leave some comments down below. Yeah, um, we, because we, first of all, we need to know if there's people out there who want to support. So comment below if you would be willing to, let's say that there was something on the Tesla website that was like, give here to help us set up power in Puerto Rico, if you'd be willing to give. Yeah, because I mean, I know that I would, I know that I would donate it, at least, you know, some money to, uh, you know, hopefully have renewable, first of all, it would be green power. It would no longer be diesel fuel. It would be reliable. It would be, you know, and it would be very needed right now. And it would send the message. First of all, it probably can be done faster than what they can do with regular power plants and mm -hmm. stuff. Um, and they can set it up in areas that need it the most. So, I mean, you could set up these power packs in buildings like hospitals, like we've seen very quickly. Look how quickly they've already done it. Right. So, I mean, this is something that's needed on the island. We're showing that it can work. It's been shown to work on other islands like in Hawaii and so forth. So let's do it. Let's have Tesla set up some kind of a fundraiser on their site where they can raise money to get more and more solar panels, more and more batteries brought down to Puerto Rico. Yeah, or maybe it ends up not being on their site. We honestly came up with the idea very recently. We have not you know, been in communications enough with Tesla um, to implement this. So, you know, we just want your support to let us know how much support there could be. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Um, please be sure to comment down below and see you tomorrow for Tesla Time News. Thank you so much for watching. Now you now know. You know.